So to my future patients, mm -hmm. to my future patients, when you see me in the hospital, mm -hmm. so you can see the type of work I put into it just to just to make me get to that position of attending to your people. Mm -hmm. So in future, now when I say my consultation fee is this is that, you see that doctor is too expensive. I worked for it. I worked hard for it. As in most struggle gone get in Do you understand? It took me almost 10 years of my life to enter inside medical school to study the medicine loading. So the value my consultation fee is five million naira just to talk to me last one. Please don't prize me. Please don't prize me. Thank you so much for your understanding. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> stay with me as I take you guys through this journey. So I've actually started processing for my school and then I realized I actually have to write a new wife slash neko and that's because my wife is like 10 years old so that was like 2013 and 2012 10 years ago and for you to have undergraduate admission um your wife in Nigeria, well, I'm not talking about abroad, right? You guys know I said I'll be studying in Nigeria because, <laughs> because I'm just a patriotic citizen and because I like Nigeria. And most importantly, because it's actually cheap for me to actually study in Nigeria. It's, the first thing I want is actually the money. And because I'm not that much of a broad type, like that, like that, like that. I'm always a Nigerian anytime, any day. So I actually realized. um most because not really realize they will not take 10 years from me so my like my wife has expired so in real sense why does not expire why is forever but depending on what you want to use it for why actually has validity so for admission depending on the school depending on the country depending on so many factors why expires but in real sense why result does not expire for example if i'm to use that certificate to actually study medicine outside the country they will not have any problem with it right they will actually accept it but the thing is um i have to actually show what i've been doing with it for the past 10 years if i've gotten any other degree and anything like that you understand so depending on the country depending on the course depending on what you actually need it for why it expires and it does not expire but in this scenario because i'm trying to study medicine in nigeria oh, you know how nigerians can be they say maximum depending on the school i have some i've got some schools that the admission requirements like maximum two years maximum five years excuse me they should have their own criteria thing like that so yeah i'll be writing why i connect and then i'm asking myself is it actually worth it somehow mm, maybe it's worth it somehow maybe it's not worth it like at least um i don't really have an option because i cannot afford to travel out right i don't want to hang again so nigeria is the cheapest for me to study right now i cannot afford to jack back the kids so nigeria so i don't have any option and is it worth it and i feel like going back to study from my sse sorry for secondary school right it actually get, like kind of gets me familiar because the thing is once i enter medical school your hundred level is still your basic science that you did in secondary school math physics i don't know if you are doing math in hundred level no we don't do math in hundred level it's just english math i think english math physics like i said depending on the school so going back to it and again whether i write work or not of course and obviously i have to write jump right so studying for work we actually um i don't know the right word to use but oh yeah could you even actually helped me in studying for jamba as well and the revision and all of those things right yeah but somehow the way you study for work is somehow different from how you study from jamba so you know life you just have to so why i'm actually sharing my journey and my progress with you guys is because sometimes we just feel like we have it so easy and everything and i know that most of you be thinking that this girl i thought you're comfortable you should travel out and everything somehow i can afford to travel and somehow i cannot afford but like i used to say i have to weigh my options even if i have to 
here i have to like, weigh my options like this that's so that's what i, I tell people so depending if you are really trying to get a degree or anything that you want to use for a long time process you start from the one that will give you the cheapest the cheapest um price but then same quality because if you study in nigeria medicine is medicine anyway and i can use um my degree in nigeria why are you spoiling my video for what reason it's when anytime it's when all this one so said so i can use my medical degree to work in nigeria to work in any countries the thing is whether you want to work in u.s whether you want to work in canada they recognize any medical degree anywhere as long as it is in the list of what medical directory right your degree is recognized anywhere and the thing is for example if you want to work in u.s right they see everybody as international medical graduates whether you studied in uk whether you studied in russia whether you studied in nigeria whether you studied in south africa all of you you are international medical graduates it's only people that study inside us that they all they see as us this thing so Regardless of where you study, shall make sure that your school is shall on the list of World Medical Directory. Yeah, and I'm aware of the new rules that ECFMG posted for 2024. I'll be making some screen video on that. And shall make sure that your school is accredited and is in the World Medical Directory. That is the most important thing. So regardless of where you get your degree from, this thing. And what I used to tell people is, it is not where you study. That actually really make you a doctor what makes you a better doctor is you so you can decide to study in advert and you should be you should be you should not even know what you are doing about i've seen a lot of doctors that studied in russia in ukraine in any of this these countries that people see as mm, they are not working in us in canada and this top country whereas the ones that are studying uh can they come can they come what are they doing with their life so it is not the school you attend that really actually make you a good doctor. You being a good doctor or not depends on individuality and the work you're actually willing to actually put to it. So I'm paying for my work and taking jam, right? And all of those things. And I'll be sharing the progress with you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why I'm actually making this video and sharing my progress is because I know some people have always wanted to go to medical school but something has been there barrier or limitation or anything or clinical i'm actually 27 i'll be going back to rest like i'll be wearing school in a home so if i can't why can't you so nothing should ever be your limitation so if it's money go for something that is cheaper or lesser like me now money is my own limitation that's why i'm studying in nigeria yes every, most every single time depending on some points you're gonna be like india sha study medicine in your country is always very cheaper and because of the things that it actually exposes you to like you've been exposed to more clinical practice volunteer experience and all of those things hands-on experience and nothing like language barrier so it's always best best your best bet is always to actually study in your own country and trust me is like i said is val viable everywhere right but then if you want to jump out with it you just have to add some international value to yourself like writing exams research work and all of those things so um stay tuned as i take you through this journey but when i actually find out i'll be writing like i should not lie it was not funny hmm. i'm just like does it really worth it does it really worth it but it's only I'm, I'm jobless why i'm actually doing this is because I actually have a job like at least i still have something something that is being income from me so it's not like it, it is actually worth it so to my future patients hmm, hmm, to my future patients when you see me in the hospital hmm, hmm, so you can see the type of work i put in so heat just to just to make me get to that position of attending to your people hmm. So in future, now when I say my consultation fee is this, is that, you see, that doctor is too expensive. I worked for it. I worked hard for it. As in, most struggle gone get me from, do you understand? It took me almost 10 years of my life to enter inside 
medical school to study with the medicine loading thing. So the value my consultation fees. Five million naira just to talk to me last one. Please don't prize me. Please don't prize me. Thank you so much for your understanding. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> stay with me as I take you guys through this journey. I don't want to say why did I go to private school? I cannot afford private school. Private school, three million, four million, five million. Hey, let me have some five million. TV me. Let me go to Japan now. Happy. And most of these private schools, when I check them on the World Medical Directly, checking their sponsor note, is empty. So why will I spend five million killing a million only to find out that I'm restricted to practicing only in Nigeria? My day is not gonna work. The one I used to spend five million, I'll spend it on the new ECFMG 2024 certified screws, right? Yes. Like I said, I'll still make another video on that. So guys, yeah, stay with me, stay tuned on this journey with me, and like. How do you say now my videos? I'm telling you thank you guys again in this video because without you guys, all this would not have been possible, right? It would not have been. So guys, thank you so much. See you at the top. Um, can I come? Can I come? And everything. Thank you guys so much for this video. I'll see you guys when it's not back for now.